Hey loves, it's me. I want to do a video showing you my favorite things for the month of November. So first with makeup, I want to show you guys uh, my favorite, my surprise baby for the month of November is my BH Cosmetic Stipling Brush. I knew that was a name, but I forgot. So I just wanted to make sure before I got the name incorrect. Um, it's pretty soft. This brush is the bomb. I use it for my blush application, especially my cream. Um, it's also really good if you want to apply foundation. Um, the price is amazing. Really surprising, actually, for such a good brush or a brush, period. The fibers don't come out. You don't have to worry about having a hair here, here, on your lip, all everywhere. Um, the handle is a nice size. It's not all puny. You can actually grab it. Um, it's a nice length. It's not a mini brush, so you don't have to worry about holding it like this. Um, it's a really... This is probably, this is probably my, one of my favorite brushes that I own in my collection of all my brushes, MAC, Sigma, and all that. This is one of my favorites. Moving on to makeup, I want to show you guys these. I love these, love these, love these pencils. These are... Um, by Maybelline, and it's called Define, Define a Brow. This one right here with the lighter brown cap is the medium brown. With the darker, this is the dark brown. If you've ever tried Max um, Eyebrow Pencil, the retractable, this is the same identical product. I can't tell the difference at all. Let me just show you what the applicator looks like. See how thin it is? And like I said, it is retractable. It goes on so evenly, so smooth. You don't have to fight with the pencil. Um, if you can see, okay, forget this bump. I'm just going to cover it up because it's driving me crazy. But I went ahead and defined my brow. And it's just the bomb. I would recommend grabbing these as soon as possible or if you can. Um, rumor has it when I tried to purchase more of the dark brown, rumor has it the dark brown is being discontinued or has been discontinued. Went to my favorite spot, Amazon, and purchased two of these and I'm going to stretch these as long as I can. I believe the one that I misplaced, I know where it's at, so I have a total of three because I had just opened that one. But these are amazing. This is by e.l.f. and it is their Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. I actually have this on my brows now. What I do with this, and I use either end. Both of them are clear. Both of them have... Both of them are clear. Both of them have the same applicator at both ends, so it doesn't matter which end that I use. As long as I'm using a product for the same reason, which is for my brows only. Um, what I do is just brush my brows up. Once my brows are completely dry, then I go ahead and define my brows with my Define a Brow by Maybelline. This is only a dollar. Um... It's really hard for me to find a clear brow mascara. Um, I've seen Maybelline, L'Oreal, and all that, but they're not a dollar. In my opinion, this is the best clear mascara that I have used and I have found for this price. For a dollar, I feel like I can get maybe 10 of them. Just rack up on them and just keep them stored. The last makeup item is this baby. This is Sephora's. And you know what? I think when I showed you guys this item in the other video, 
I didn't have the freaking color then. But what I'm going to do is leave a link below because I don't want to go and research again and find a color and all that stuff. But this is Sephora's um, lip stain. The color is always red. It just came to me. And always red. Um, I had this lip stain on in one of my videos. And I'll just go ahead and show you guys a picture of me wearing this. Oh my gosh, ladies, I am telling you, it doesn't move off your freaking lips at all. Even when I have to take it off, I use my um, makeup towelette. Uh, I have to rub. It doesn't come off. I have to put baby oil on my makeup towelette for the lip stain to come off. And even then, my lips are still partially stained red. This is a sexy red. It's not too bright. It's not too dark. It just makes your lips look so retro. It just reminds me of Marilyn Monroe. I absolutely love this lip stain. So that's all the makeup items. I'm going to go ahead and move into hair items. First up is these two. This is Organics Moroccan Argon Oil. This is a weightless healing dry oil and this is organics ever straight brazilian keratin therapy flat iron spray purchased these on a whim at cvs and i actually was looking for this item saw it at cvs it was on sale buy one get one half off or either buy one get one free my stylist used this on my hair um She's a huge Design Essentials um, lover. She used this product on my hair and my blowout silk wrap um, straightened hair was so light. Usually I wash my hair within a week after I go ahead and go to the salon and have my hair straightened. When she used this product, I swear I had my hair straightened for two weeks. I just did not want to wash it. It still had body. It still had sheen. It still had shine. But it wasn't heavy. Um, the only thing I can compare this to is Design Essentials, their spray liquid silk. I'm not lying. You can spray this in your hair every day, all day, nonstop. It doesn't add any type of weight to your hair. It's so, so light. Um, the smell is not fruity, but it's a nice, fresh scent. It's a really great scent. So this is by Organics. If you see this out, um, this is a really, really light product. If you're wanting heavy, heavy sheen, um, pick up some ISO Plus or something because that's not that's not what this is going to do for you. Um, it's not going to give you heavy sheen. It's just going to give you a light mist and a nice natural glow to your hair. The flat iron spray surprised me. Um, I wasn't expecting it to really work. This also has a nice, actually, this has a coconut scent. I'm just realizing it. it has a nice fresh coconut scent. What I do is spray this on my hair, especially around my edges. And for some reason, when I wrap my hair, this one part right here always has a bend in it. Sometimes in the morning. I have no idea why. But what I'll do is spray this on my hair. Go ahead and comb it through. Get dressed. Um, let it dry out a little. And then I'll go in and flat iron it. My hair doesn't snap. I don't have any breakage at all. This is Ampro Shine and Jam. This is with Honey Extra Hole. It's a conditioning gel. This is the inside. I have worn it out. I actually received this free when I purchased my um, edge control. Use it on a whim. It says extra hold. Um, it really doesn't have like extra hold. You're not going to use this if you want to gel your hair up in a ponytail. Unless you just want to use it on your edges or a few spots. I use this for my edges. I can't find it anywhere when I do a Google search. Uh, olive oil. 
brand comes up or olive oil instead of extra whole with honey it says olive oil it probably will work just as good and i'm gonna have to go ahead and um order that i like this in comparison to edge control edge control is really thick edge control you really have to really get into that container and really put it on your edges this is a little bit looser Edge control is going to hold more than this does, but when I'm in a rush, I really don't have time to be fighting with the edge control and making sure that it's all brushed in. I'll just use a little bit of this, brush once or twice, and I'm out the door. Is my coconut oil. I kills it. Uh, I use this for my hair. I use it for... Um, my hands I use it for my body it's a great cuticle oil I absolutely love my coconut oil um, this particular brand is now it has no scent does not smell like coconut um, it's no scent at all my girlfriend has a coconut oil and hers smell like coconut this however does not there's absolutely no scent at all. It's unscented, but it gets the job done. What I do with this when I do my coil out twist outs, I take a little bit of this and seal my ends with it. Um, after I get out the shower or bath, I go ahead and rub some of this all over my body. Um, I use it as a moisturizer, like I said, a cuticle oil. Um, I also, I actually have been putting it in my hair when my hair is straight. I wanted to see how heavy it would be. So at night, what I do, what I wrap my hair all around, I take a little bit of this, not as much as I just put in my hand, and just put it on my wrap and put my scarf on in the morning. It has a nice shine. And I'll try to get a picture for you guys of the shine because I did go ahead and snap one. Um, this is 100% natural, um, skin friendly. What else does it say? No chemical preservatives or artificial colors. So if you want to cook with it, you can definitely cook with it. I haven't tried that, but I heard that it's a really good product to cook with. But I love my coconut oil. When this is out, I'm going to order another one. But I want a big tub. I need a big tub. Okay, and another body item is this. And these are all by Bliss. This is the Blood Orange and White Pepper. This is the Lemon and Sage. This is the Raspberry Champagne, which I have not used yet. So I'm going to put that one down. But I will say these two are the bomb, especially the Lemon and Sage. It smells so fresh. Um, I get compliments all the time when I go out in public. People are asking me, what do you have on? And it is this. Smells amazing. Um, they said that it smells a little sweet. Um, I'm thinking maybe a lemon cake maybe, but that's all I smell when I put on is lemon. They said smell cupcakey sweet, so not sure what scent comes off when others smell it. Um, the blood orange and white pepper, I absolutely hate the name. Um, blood orange sounds like Dracula or something. The white pepper smells sneaky and wicked or something, but the scent is nothing like the name it doesn't smell anything like pepper it smells orangey um it has a little bit of spice in it so maybe that's where the pepper the aroma of the pepper is coming from but i use this all over especially my feet it's very moisturizing and i absolutely love all bliss items no item i purchased from bliss has really steered me the wrong way so yay to this and the last item is, this is Lady Gaga's Fame. Yep, as you can see, it is black. This perfume is the bomb. Um, I just want to spray it on so I can kind of tell you guys what it smells like. Oh, God. When you first, or when I first spray it on me with, um, with my body chemistry it smells sweet it smells like a mm, a really sweet dessert as time goes on the scent changes um 
it may start out sweet and then in a few hours it turns a little flowery and then after that it may turn a little into a must like scent and when I say a must like I'm talking about like a euphoria or something like that not must like ooh funky you're you're you smell musty not like that but I wanted this because it was black black is my favorite color and I love gaga so I had to go ahead and purchase this oh I want to show you guys one last thing I know this video is so freaking long this is my favorite thing. I got my iPhone 5. I went ahead and blinged out my case. And I'm pretty happy and pretty darn satisfied with my iPhone 5. Now that is all. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.